in Arkansas. WRG's Luke Jones is live there this morning. And Luke, you showed us some of the damage. Obviously, we can see it happening behind you there. We know one person was hurt at least. So tell us what else you're seeing out there this morning. Well, you said it yourself, just lots and lots of storm debris out here. You can take a look right now. It's scattered throughout this field right here at the roadway in. The roof has been torn off, and I'm told at least seven of these 25 rooms are uninhabitable. Just a little while ago, we actually saw some folks out here taking a look at some of the damage themselves. They just walked around the other side of this building now. I'm told as bad as all of this is, the damage is much worse in the nearby town of Kaiser. For reference, that is south of Blyville, but they are not allowing anyone into town this morning, so we haven't been able to bring you any fresh pictures from there. We are learning from the National Weather Service this morning, however. They do plan to send some damage assessment teams out today. That will allow them to decide whether or not this is, in fact, a tornado. You know, the more and more we look at it, it's beginning to look more like straight line winds, but we'll obviously wait and see what the experts have to say about all of that. And once again, over there, you can just see all of the wood that was once part of the roadway in. You can see another motel sign. Winds ripped through there as well. And a witness tells me just before six last night, he was actually hunkered down in the Walmart here in Osceola, and it was pure panic as they heard the sounds and the terror outside as those winds ripped through. We're live in Osceola, Luke Jones, WREG News Channel 3. All right, Luke, thank you so much for that update. And this morning,